So good evening. We will solve uh, one more problem also. Based on uh, Prandtl number, as I have told you, this one question I have seen in the gate examination in previous question paper. So here you see the uh, read the question. The properties of the mercury at 300 Kelvin are they have given the properties of mercury. Uh, this density means rho, which is given 13,529 kilogram per meter cube. Cp means specific heat of the mercury which is 0.1393 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin then mu dynamic viscosity is given as 0.1523 into 10 to the power of minus 2 newton second per meter square k means thermal conductivity of the mercury which is given as 8.540 watts per meter kelvin they are simply asking us to find out the Prandtl number this is direct formula problem so Prandtl number means we should know the formula for Prandtl number which is Prandtl number is equal to mu into Cp by K. This is the formula for Prandtl number. So you can directly substitute the things in the formula and find out the value of the Prandtl number. So what is the mu value which is given as 0 0.15 remaining things under you can neglect it just to confuse you they are giving that values you don't consider that values under. What are the things are needed to find out the Prandtl number that only you take from the given data remaining things you don't bother okay. So what is the mu value which is given 0.1523 into 10 to the power of minus 2 that you just substitute so 0.1523 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into Cp value is so you should remember always the specific heat should be in the unit of joules per kilogram kelvin here they are given in kilojoules so you just multiply that with 1000 if they give the cp value in joules per kilogram kelvin you take that directly but if you take in kilojoules then the unit will not get cancelled so okay so you have to convert that in joules per kilogram kelvin so i am just multiplying this in 1000 so here also i am putting 0 0.1393 into 1000 divided by k k is 8.540 what is the answer i am getting for Prandtl number i am getting 0 0.0248 it has no unit Okay, so this is the answer for the given problem is easy problem simple direct formula method. Okay, if you know the formula you can easily solve this type of problem, but you have to know the formula you have to remember the formula for all sometimes they will ask us to find out Nusselt number. Okay.